since human organ transplantation surgery was invented 63 years ago, over one million people's lives have been saved. First, take the organ, like liver or heart, out of the donor's body and keep it in a low temperature environment. Then put it into the recipient's body. This three-step procedure has been very well developed, but it's still not perfect. Every step of the traditional transplantation surgery will cause damage to the organ. If we have a 100% functioning liver ready, the recipients can only get around a 20% functioning liver after surgery. That means the patient has to bear a lot of risk. Professor He Xiaoshun from the first affiliated hospital of Sun Yan-sen University in Guangzhou decided to reform organ transplantation surgery by creating an environment similar to human body with continuous blood supply to the organ. This new surgery makes every step of the transplantation seamlessly connected, so the recipient will get a nearly 100% functioning fresh organ. On July the 23rd, Professor He performed the first organ transplantation surgery with continuous blood supply in the world. So far, three other such surgeries have been done. The results are very exciting, especially in our second case. GPT is an important index measuring transplantation surgeries. Normally, the index could be up to hundreds or even thousands after the surgery. But in this case, the index was only 28, which is very healthy. This is the multifunctioning organ repairing device invented by the team of Professor He. It can simulate human body system and supply blood to the organs. Now it's only for liver transplantation, but in the near future, it could be used for the transplantation of hearts, kidneys and lungs. The theoretical system of organ transplantation hasn't changed in the past 63 years, and basically no one dared to challenge it. But now with this repairing system, a transplantation surgery with no harm to organs is how it should be in the first place. Professor He is now trying to do more surgeries to enrich his theory. He said, once mature, it will replace the current method to become the mainstream around the world. Ge Yunfei, CGTN, Guangzhou.